Now, since our items don't have any actual effects and don't do anything, uh, we're just going to give it the appearance that it is uh, to essentially teach you how to invoke it uh, once it does have an invoke method or something similar to that. Um, what I will do is say if input dot key pressed and I'm going to select my keys dot enter so when I'm when I get to the item I want and press enter uh, it will raise an event here or do something that I want it to uh, in this case I'm going to say if items at my selected index so uh, you know every time we move our uh, selection box uh, you know it updates the select X and select Y right so we can just use those exact values here to show our selected item if it is not nothing again checking for nulls then um, invoke menu item do cool stuff alrighty uh, in this case uh, to give it the appearance of being used since we don't actually have a method to use the item um, what I'm gonna do is invoke an, an NPC dialog like I'm chatting with an NPC but instead it's gonna be uh, you know relative to my item so I'm gonna say screen manager dot add screen and I'm going to create a new instance of NPC dialog. And when I create my NPC dialog, I have to have a dialog text to enter. So what I'm going to use for that is uh, you, you used, and a little space there. So there's a space between my actual text items. Select X select Y so you used item select X and select Y dot name it tells us the name of the item we used and and it did cool things works for me I don't know about you that's about all I got so, globals dot player one dot backpack. What happens when we, um, you know, we use the item? Well, at this point, it should be removed from our backpack. So I will say remove that item. And remember, our uh, remove method that we created requires the item ID or the actual item itself and so we can just reference that directly from items select X select Y and finally um, once you have invoked another dialogue or use the item you should probably close out of the window so it doesn't keep trying to you know when you're pressing your enter key uh, the screen below it may you know immediately direct uh, detect that that key was pressed again so it might try to use the item again and since we don't have any other method to handle this we're gonna wanna just immediately unload the screen the inventory screen and as soon as the inventory screen is reloaded you should notice that the item uh, has been removed so we unload the screen by name. So we pop up a dialog box that says, hey, you just use your super cool item. And at that same moment, we remove the item from your backpack, um, getting, you know, dropping it from that list and then unloads the screen. What that does is it forces, uh, you know, forces us to reopen our inventory menu if we want to notice or see that uh, the item is gone uh, because it automatically repopulates from the items that are left in our backpack so if I come in here 
and I hit enter. You use the medical herb and it did cool things. And it closed. Now if I look again, oh, check it out. And you notice that the little number is gone as well, indicating that this is the final item of this stack in our list. And if we use that, uh-oh, we're all out of items. Too bad. Okay. So that essentially uh, concludes this tutorial. Um, now, because yours didn't look exactly like mine, and really going through the graphics creation on my borders is kind of, uh, you know, going to be a really slow deal. Um, I'm just going to copy and paste that code in there for you. So, you know, here you can see my borders that I'm using and my little avatar, and you know, repositioning of this text. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and copy that in there. So. Um, you know, if you do download the source code, you can at least, you know, get a sense of what is occurring. Um, you know, how it's being drawn. And really, the way that I'm doing here, uh, doing this, is not the best way to do it. What I recommend doing is actually creating another class for your form graphics. Uh, you know, or just create a, a border class uh, just for drawing that and then. Um, have this all drawn in a single line and that also makes it reusable you know by putting in the position X and position Y as parameters for that border draw so it knows how you know where and how big to draw the actual border um, so what I'm gonna do uh, it is go back down to my draw class and I'll just paste these in here uh, since this tutorial is pretty much done, uh, we've achieved what we wanted to achieve. The placement for drawing the borders, uh, you're going to want to draw them over the top of the background, but you do not want them uh, to interfere with anything else. So you want them to be drawn before other items on the screen since they're just sort of static here. Um, and what you can see what I'm doing is I'm referencing this menu one image again. I already showed you that, but uh, uh, what I'm doing is grabbing snippets of this menu. I'm grabbing this corner for the top left corner, this corner for the right corner, you know, bottom right, bottom left, and then I'm grabbing these uh, bars in the middle and just sort of stretching them along the width and height of the uh, the new the new screen. So you can play with those and look at them and just kind of see what I did there and you may also be able to figure out how to create your own uh, border class for that that you can just pop in here you could just say um, you know draw border class much like it did the um, the uh, menu graphics I thought I had the menu graphics class in here but um, you know, I may end up doing that later on. Oh, here it is. So this is used, you know, in much the same way uh, for full menu graphics. Um, and then there's uh, draw, you, you know, you just call the sub and it automatically draws it in there. So it takes all this, see all this stuff that, uh, as repetitive work, that would just be a real pain to do over and over again. And if you wanted to do you know the same border on other windows instead of just inventory to, to have a reusable uh, graphics class like this uh, that you could just pop in there throw a border on any new window that'd be fantastic you might even add it as a you know base screen parameter saying hey draw a new base screen with uh, with border or without border so now that we have that in there if we execute it, the only thing you notice that's out of place is our description now. So what I can do is uh, just grab the proper coordinates of that as well, since I kind of just slid it over to the side. Uh, let's see, where did I draw that before? Position X plus 100. And position Y plus 20. So I'll just close out of here go down here 
and change this vector to a new vector. Oh, that's fantastic. So if we use this, look at that. Everything is working beautifully. So as an experiment, what happens if we go back to our player and say um, this stackable equals false and we add two new items. Oh, look at that. It automatically generated a new item in the next slot down. So that is working wonderfully. And if we use that, it is gone. And if we use that, it is gone. So everything seems to be working nicely here. Uh, with that, I will uh, turn you loose, and I wish you all well on your projects. Thanks again for watching, and uh, I hope this has been helpful for you. Sorry I'm getting so sleepy here, but um, I will try to get this uh, tutorial source up as quickly as I can so you can download it. And Take care, everybody. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye. Mm,